What would you ever do if you were trapped somewhere with an Arduino and an LED? Flies for an Inkovic. Okay. Right there. Wow. And Hank there, traffic blew us one, uh, leaving Hank. In, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to control a very simple LED. You'll need some wires, an LED, a resistor, an Arduino, and a breadboard. So let's start with just simply lighting the LED. If we look at the Arduino, we'll see that there are some pins on the side labeled 0 through 13, and those are some numerical pins that will come in handy later. On this side, you'll see that there's some pins labeled GND, and then a pin labeled 5V. GND is what we're going to be using to ground our circuit, and 5V is what we're going to be using to power our circuit. Before we build the circuit, let's talk about what resistor value to use. So with an LED, you have to limit the amount of current that actually goes through the thing. And we do that by using a resistor. So this basic red LED has a voltage drop of approximately 1.8 volts. And we're using 5 volts, which means that the voltage drop across the resistor should be somewhere around 3.2 volts. Now this LED is also limited to 20 milliamps, which means that if we do the math using Ohm's law, we should get a resistor of approximately 160 ohms or greater. The one that I'm using is actually 220. Now let's start building the circuit. So first I'm going to take the resistor, and I'm going to stick one end into this blue strip over here. And then I'm going to stick another end across it into one of the little boxes in the middle, like this. And then I'm going to take the LED, and this is very important, you have to make sure that the short side is connected in the same row of boxes as the resistor that you just plugged in. And then the other side, the long side, has to cross this little median in the middle, like this. All right, and then now we're going to plug it into the Arduino. So I have a blue and an orange wire here. Taking the blue wire, notice how my Arduino is not plugged in right now to the computer or any sort of power source. I'm going to put the blue wire into one of the pins that says GND over here. And then I'm going to plug the other side into the same vertical strip of blue that I just plugged part of the resistor into. So if you see that, it's over here, and I just plugged the resistor over here. So this vertical strip of blue over here, all these boxes next to that blue line should be grounded once I plug this in. And then first I'm just going to test that this actually works. So I'm going to take the orange wire and I'm going to put one side into the 5 volts, and then the other side into the same row that I just plugged the long side of the LED into. Ta-da! So you'll see I just plug this orange thing over here and then the LED leg is over here. So this is the same row. Now, time to see if it works. Let's double check this configuration. All right, here's ground. This resistor is grounded on one side, connected to the LED on the other. The LED is in the correct orientation. And then the other side, the long leg, is connected to power. All right, so now we're going to power this LED. And I'm just going to stick this little plug in here and plug it into the USB port on my laptop. And you guys should see this thing light up. Ta-da! Cool! So now we know it works. Now in order to get this thing to start blinking, this is where the code comes into play. So if we open the Arduino IDE, we'll notice that there's a setup and a loop function written already. So in the setup function, we want to basically set the pin that we're going to use as an output pin. So in this example, I'm going to use pin number 9. 
So at the top of my code, I'm going to use a variable. And then I'm going to basically tell the setup that I'm making pin number 9 an output. Now in this loop function, all I want to do first is make sure that it actually works. So I'm going to do a blinking LED. Here I'm first going to write hi to this LED pin, which basically means send it some voltage. I'm going to delay by a few milliseconds so that we make sure that we can actually see this signal getting written. And then I'm going to write low to basically turn it off. And then I'm going to delay that by the same amount of time. And it should look something like this. All right, now that we have that, I'm going to put these functions into a different function, switch LED, which basically is turning this on and off. And I'm going to pass in a variable called timing so that we can control how long the high voltage is getting sent to this LED. Now once I have that function, I can use it to essentially switch this LED on and off for a certain amount of time. So let's look at our Morse code chart. We want to send out an SOS distress signal. So S is three short blinks or dots, whatever. Um, and then O is three long dots, stretches, I don't know what to call it. And then S again is three short. So we're going to do three short, three long, and three short. And in between each letter, I'm also going to want to delay it by a certain time. Now instead of typing the short time and the long time over and over again, I'm going to put those into variables at the top of my code also. So then now I can just copy and paste and if I want to change the variable, I can do that without having to go through every single uh, part of the code and change all the numbers. So now let's see what that looks like. Wow, look at that. We can use this LED now to send all sorts of signals in Morse code. For example, here's a little message for you guys. Let's see if you can decode it. Thanks for watching. Thank you, traffic. This is Blue S1 taking off from Henkel, heading back to Reykjavik. What is the flight time roughly on the get back to To Reykjavik. Uh, 15 minutes more or less. Okay, I've got 40 minutes recording time, you see. Okay. Cool. Thank you. No problem.